Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G and I want to talk to all my new hams out there. This video is for you if you are a new ham or if you have not gotten on HF before and you want to know a little bit more about it. So what I want to talk to you today about is tuning the radio, tuning the dial, not necessarily tuning the antenna. Um, in your license manual, in your study guides, in your ham classes, in your online video watching, you have heard that you need to be about three kilohertz in bandwidth if you are running single sideband. And that is true. Uh, upper sideband or lower sideband is designed to work in three kilohertz of bandwidth. What does that mean? So if we look over at our VFO, let me switch to a radio view for you real quick. If we look over at our VFO, VFO is what they call this big round knob here, variable frequency oscillator. And when you move that around, you can see that the numbers change right above my finger there. So 14259, 14258, 14250, etc. So when I'm talking about three kilohertz away, I'm talking about this number here that's blocked off black on white background. So anytime you move that, that's two, that's three, that's four. That's three total kilohertz. So you've now moved three kilohertz up, but you're still inside of that three kilohertz. If you want to be exactly three kilohertz away, you need to go to one more higher because otherwise you're overlapping that last kilohertz with the person that was talking before. To give you a little bit better example, let's switch back to the front camera. To give you a little bit better of an example, I drew out a little diagram here. So if you have somebody that is on 14200 talking, they are consuming 14200, 201, and 202. And if you over here are on 201, you've got a two kilohertz overlap with their section and you've got your 203. So you're going from 201 to 203 and they're going from 200 to 202. So that's my handy dandy technical diagram. I spent a lot of money on that, uh, but I wanted to share that with you. So that's what they're talking about when they're talking about three kilohertz away. And if you are not three kilohertz away, you will be talking over them. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. The next thing that I had trouble with is, I call it white noise. I don't know what you would call it, but my ear, when I hear the, the HF static, the typical, um, noise floor that we call it, the typical noise that you hear. I'm gonna turn my radio up. So this is a nice clear signal right now. And you can hear this person talking in this nice clear signal. Five nine over 12 was the signal report that he got. So these are really good signals that you can hear. Very clear, very crisp voice. But let's tune the VFO a little bit. I'm trying to do this sideways, looking through two different cameras. So as we tune away, you can't really hear any voices there, but you can hear something and you can actually see a little something on the waterfall there. And when I was a new ham, I would tune to a frequency like that and I would think that that frequency is in use and I wouldn't be able to use it. Let's turn the radio up and see what happens when I try that. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo Mike 9 Golf. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo, Mike 9, Golf. So I might consider that frequency clear, but it looks like there might be somebody there. It gets really difficult for you to do that. Let's see if we can find an actual clear frequency. See, there's somebody there. So I can almost hear somebody there. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo, Mike, nine, golf. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo, Mike, nine, golf. CQ20, CQ20. This is Kilo, Mike, nine, golf. Calling CQ20, CQ20. KM9G. Calling CQ on 20 on 14321. Anybody out there? Come on back. CQ20, CQ20, this is Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ20, CQ20, Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ20 and listening. Yeah, so now somebody's off frequency on me. 
This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ20, CQ20. Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ20 on 14321 KM9G. Anybody, anywhere, come on back. And so you saw that there was nobody there when I started, and now somebody popped in really close. That's because they can't hear me, even though I am putting a little bit of a signal out. So now the considerate operator would move to another clear frequency. Let's try that. Is Nope. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. So there's a QSO party going on right now. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. And I don't know that they're going to be able to hear me. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. KM9G, KM9G, Kilo, Mike 9 Golf, KM9G. He said I was down in the noise and he couldn't hear me. That is a QSL. You got me that time. Uh, five nine uh, into state of Wisconsin. I QSL the five nine from York. Uh, again, you are in state of Wisconsin. WI Whiskey Indigo. Roger, Roger. Thank you for Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Seventy three. I'll just stop in and give him a little contest love. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo Mike Nine Golf. Yeah, so I can't hear anything there, but there's enough white noise to get back to what I was talking about. There's enough white noise in there that sometimes my ears might pick something up. That amount of white noise right there, there's nobody there. And you can see on the waterfall. Some radios don't have waterfalls. This one does. You can see on the waterfall that there's no activity right there. So that's what you're looking for when you're looking for a nice clear frequency to operate in. You're never going to hear silence on an HF radio unless your antenna is unplugged. So the next thing I want to talk about is how... Hams like to camp on the even digits right here. I actually have my radio set up so that it won't um, it won't move. Let me change that real quick. And somebody's checking if the frequency is in use. So now I'm over here, and if I spin the dial, I'm moving by hundreds of a kilohertz. And you can tell I can still hear him. So I'm going to hit fast again, which is going to move me up one more to tenths. And then I'm going to move back up there. I'm going to go all the way to the top of the band, 350. And I'm going to work my way down, and we're going to see signals. So he's on 340. Fourteen three hundred is the maritime mobile frequency. Let's go find another one. So he's on two six five. He's on 255 doing a Parks on the Air activation. Somebody on 225, but they're pretty low. Somebody on 220. So what I'm trying to help you out with, what I'm trying to point out is hams like to camp out on these even digit numbers on the end. You're not going to find somebody on 14220.50 
often. You will find somebody there maybe during a contest, but more often than not, you're going to find them on an even number, 220, 221, 223, 22, whatever. 220 through 229 is where you're going to find people if you're listening. If you're a hair off, if you're 220.20, um, you're probably still going to be able to hear them, but not going to be terribly clear when you hear them. And if you tune back down to the even number, you'll hear them a little bit better. So those are my three tips for you today as a new ham getting on to the HF bands. Um, people want to stay three kilohertz away from each other so you're not talking over top of somebody else. You might hear some voices in the white noise. Ask if the frequency is in use. You saw me do it earlier. If they do not uh, reply back, then the frequency is clear. You may not be able to hear the other side of the conversation. The other side of the conversation may not be able to hear you. So you saw that somebody moved in on me. Um, and then hams like to camp on the on the ones, on the one unit. So 220, 221, 222. I hope that helped you out. There is a video right over here that I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.